Good morning, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and we have a brand new Marshall D Teach card revealed for the new Blue Dolphy structure deck. If you don't know, Marshall D Teach, otherwise known as Blackbeard, is a former Seven Warlords of the Sea. He became a Seven Warlords when he turned Ace over to the Marines, and then he ultimately quit in Marine Ford. So literally from Impel down to Marine Ford, he became a Seven Warlords of the Sea. Broke his crew out of Impel Down and then basically quit the Warlords immediately because that's how Marshall D. Teach rolls. But uh, yeah, I kind of figured we'll be getting a new support for him. He is the next leader in OPO 9, not to mention he is a 7 Warlords of the Sea character that only has one card in printing so far in the form of the free cost Marshall D. Teach that came out all the way back in the Crocodile Structure Deck back in OPO 1. And basically, that guy was a three cost that bounced a three cost to hand. That was a really gimmicky card, and it might see some play someday, but just not today. But now we have a brand new Marshall D Teach card that's actually insane. So, this is the new Blackbeard card, and he basically is insane for Blue Dolphy. Uh, he has the ability that during the main phase, you can place one Seven Lords of the Sea card on top of your deck. Then give two Resident Dawn to your leader or character on the field. He is a two cost 3k, so if he did it to himself. He'll become a five cost, which is well, not five cost, he'll become a 5k beat stick, so he threatens leader unless they're a 6k body, which would suck, but whatever. But what really matters is that he stacks your deck and he gives two Resident Dawn to your leader, paying the requirements for Dawn. So if you don't know, Blue Dolphy's whole gimmick is that if you put two Rested Dawn on him, or not two Rested Dawn, just two Dawn on him, then you swing, you rest an additional Dawn, so it takes three Dawn total, you look at the top card of your deck and play a Seven Lords from your top of your deck onto the field, as long as it's four or less costs. Well, what this new Marshall D. Teach does is that you can do this on your three Dawn turn play. If you didn't see a Perona or a new Buggy, you can play this guy, Put one of your seven lords that's already in hand on top of the deck. Give two rested dawn to leader. Then use leader effect when swinging for 7k. To then play the guaranteed seven warlord from the hand onto the field. Which is really, really powerful. That's a very powerful effect. Especially if it's a Jinbei. Let's say you have Jinbei and Marshall D. Teach in hand. And it's your three dawn turn. You go play Marshall D. Teach. Put the Jinbei on top of your deck. Give two Rested Dawn to your leader, then rest the last Rested Dawn when swinging. Play the Jinbei from the top of your deck, then Jinbei effect will trigger to play another seven Lords to see with four costs or less directly from your hand. And if it's the Boa that we're getting in a new structure deck, she'll put another Rested Dawn onto your leader as a blocker who will then stack your deck. Or if it's another blocker that looks at the top three, let's say a Don Quixote Del Domingo, then you get a blocker that stacks your deck as well, and you get to put three bodies on board on your three Dawn turn, which is absolutely incredible. Like, yes, he is a two-cost 3K body, so both uh, Red, Purple Law, and any black deck has easy access to removing him, but on your three Dawn turn, they're not going to have enough Dawn to deal with his ass. Like, yes, on their four Dawn turn, they can get rid of him, but they won't be able to get rid of the Jinbei you played, and they won't be able to get rid of the other guy you played, which is very, very strong. And I think as the decks keep going and it keeps progressing, this whole adding Rested Dawn to your leader, especially in Blue Dolphy, is just going to keep going in power and strength. And I think the deck's actually insane now. We have literally 12 starters now because Perona sets up our deck, the new buggy sets up our deck. This new Blackbeard sets up our deck. And even the new other cards that we're getting in OPO7 and in the structure deck from Crocodile to Boa also set up our deck. Like our deck is going to be always stacking, always playing characters from a leader ability, always getting free advantage. This is really, really insane support. I think Blue Dolphy is going to be one of the best decks in the format in OPO8. I think it's a very, very scary contender. A deck that can play multiple bodies for free, always, every turn, is going to be terrifying to go against. And I think blue only gets better once OPO9 comes around, because I have a sneaky suspicion 
that Blackbeard will be our blue leader for OPO9. That's because he is a Seven Wars and a CD, and he's also a Whitebeard Pirate. And in OPO7, uh, and eight, well, not OPO7, OPO7 and 8, I guess, it's both sets, we are getting blue Whitebeard support. So I think the idea is that Marshall D. Teach, as a leader, will be replacing Sakazuki. He is going to be our new blue-black leader. That's going to shake up the meta game, and the reason why was for the longest time we thought it was going to be blue red, because he ate Whitebeard's fruit, meaning that he has access to the uh, Quake Quake fruit, meaning he would be a red character because most of the Whitebeard pirate cards are red. But with the introduction of Marco, now most of the Whitebeard cards are blue, and we have oh, it's called Marshall D Teach cards that are also blue. That means I think Marshall D. Teach or Blackbeard in OPO9 will be a blue-black leader. He's going to have the uh, the Yami Yami no Mi, which is the black uh, gravity fruit he has. Well, the darkness, darkness fruit, whatever, the Yami Yami no Mi. And he also has Edward Newgate's fruit, which is the Quake Quake fruit, which I think represents the ocean and represents sea quakes which is blue i think he's gonna be a blue black leader and any new dolphin support that we get in opio 7 and this structure deck and any new white beard cards we got in opio 8 and maybe in opio 9 will just be supporting black beard as a new leader and it's gonna be a terrifying deck and i can't wait to see what it does but that's all just speculation, and you came here to know about the new Blackbeard card and the new Seven Lords Dolphy support. So I hope I was able to answer any questions you had. Hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid, and see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>